Hello, welcome to episode 26, the Thanksgiving episode of Bangin' and Bangin' with uh, me, uh, Gangro, and Kick is that. So, um, Let's talk turkey. Uh, turkey. Um, <laughs> hey, Raymond, now, I'm not going to point this out, but I, 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 I'm going to take the undue heat off of me right now and Ditto. kick your dad, right? As we walk in the studio here, <laughs> I see two obese turkeys. Which one's me and which one's you? Um, I don't know. I'm going to imagine you're the colorful one. Okay, I'll take right, it. The colorful one. But, but why am I looking at you? Like, I'm looking at your backside. So I, I don't know what's up with the, the, the Talk of turkey. You got some <laughs> acorns. You got a freaky pumpkin. What's with the arrow? That's right. Ra- <laughs> Raymond, are you trying to get us canceled? Like, like uh, I'm not sure. That's Florida State arrow. Thanksgiving. I mean, I guess Thanksgiving. We can go with that. It's the Florida Florida State. All right, and then the stabbing some corn. All right. Is yeah. What is that? How you eat corn, Raymond? You um, just stab but, at it. I mean, the colors are cool. The thoughts there, Raymond. Appreciate I appreciate. It. I appreciate the effort. Not uh, sure. I appreciate the arrow. We 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 we're trying to cover our pa- our bases, folks. We just want to make right, sure. I don't know. I don't know. So. It's all on Raymond. Raymond, uh, if I could spell his last name, I'd give it to you. M O U L T A I R. I don't know. M O U L T. That's what M I C K E Y. It all Raymond me. <laughs> I've been enjoying your songs. I loved your version of Hey Jude from last week. It is classic. <laughs> You're classic. the only one that enjoys. My no, songs. I, I think we all enjoy it. <laughs> It's, it's oh my goodness! So uh, Thanksgiving is upon us. We are in the holidays. Is um, I'm sure I, I I don't I'm sure you've, you've had, did you travel this weekend? No, it uh, celebrated. The, the airports are insane right now. I know uh, you uh, certainly traveled. You were home for what, like six hours? Yeah, I'm I'm the only idiot instead of flying. All right, so yeah, so uh, I'm in. I do a uh, virtual signing in uh, Newark on Friday. And then I, I fly home Friday night. I, literally, I was supposed to actually get home midnight Friday night and uh, fly back out to Detroit Saturday morning early. But I, I got my own flight home despite them getting me one. I, I just I wanted to get home earlier, so I got a four o'clock flight. And I got home at seven, so I was home. I was home a little bit more than six hours, so it was, I, I got home at seven ish and uh, was back out to the airport around four a.m., five a.m. So off to Detroit, and then I was in Detroit, and then I was back home. Sunday morning, and then um, and then I went to the tub, like and had had some lunch there, did some wedding planning for the two 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 IHOP special <laughs> on Groundhog Day. I don't know if she realizes that that's Groundhog Day. So am I gonna relive my life like Groundhog Day every day over and over like that day? Do you Is remember that... what song he had to listen to every day? Oh, uh, I don't know. He kept hitting the alarm clock. What was it? Hey, dude. No, no it? it's uh, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. Sunny and Cher. Yeah. I got you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Steps in a mud puddle. Graham, did you ever see Groundhog Day? Oh, gosh, seven. No are you surprised? Um, Why are you so surprised? What's your favorite movie? Yeah, what do you watch? That might be a better question. Um, the Undertaker one they just did for Netflix. The Undertaker what? movie they did for Netflix. That's your favorite movie of all time. With yeah. the alternate That's endings and all one. that? I didn't see it. I could tell I you that. Watch I didn't watch it either. I didn't watch it either. His favorite movie is the Undertaker movie. Go figure. I, it's Salt. Okay, it's salt. salt. Angelina Jolie. I haven't seen it. Oh, Salt? Yeah, I like Salt. She's an undercover Russian agent. Yeah, well, it's like, like female James Bond, right? Well, she was born. They raised yeah. her up. Like, like, Better. Like, she was like, and then someday she got activated and people were defending her. But it turns out she was an agent the whole you time. Know. I'm not sure. I can't remember the end. But it was a little swerve. It was Don't a couple swerves. It. I haven't seen it. What? She gives me Anna vibes. Oh. What? Oh, yeah? She's you just... think Anna, Anna reminds you of Angelina Jolie or vice Angelina versa? Jolie. She's just... Oh, that's kind of nice. That that's like a nice Anna's, compliment. Are you trying to say Anna is like a Russian uh, under like uh, like Anna's who's, a spy? Who's to say she isn't? Anna Diaz, if you're listening, I know your mom certainly is because your mom doesn't miss a podcast. She was on my Hi, ass Susan. when this podcast didn't come out till yesterday. Uh, like, um, uh, apparently, you're like one of those. I don't know what they call them. I don't want to say sleeper cell. Like that's bad. I don't want to. That's it. Yeah, that's what you call it. But I don't want to. I, I don't want to say that. I got hot spy out of it. That's it. I, 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 hot spy. Hot spy. Hot, well, I don't want to say hot. She's my daughter. But spy. I'll say I, it, hot spy. spy. <laughs> like, and, and you're gonna go kill everybody and. They, what, why? Because Anna's all beat up and scarred up. What? What are you saying? What like, 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 what? <laughs> hot spy. She, she can't read her face. She has like a. Uh, interesting. Like a spy. Like you just can't read Anna. Uh, oh, oh, really? You don't see her Instagram stuff later. I just had a hotel workout, and this girl's still sleeping over here. 
uh, and like I think she's been watching Kick Kick Dead stuff, like making <laughs> the eye, the wings, and the, uh, the tongue things coming out and stuff like oh, yeah. that. What's going on with this kid? She's growing up way too fast for me. But it happens. I know. It does. It does. It does. So, um, so yeah. So I had a good weekend, sort of. Got I did a virtual, which was was was. How do those work? Hey. So <laughs> they work well. How they work is, I think I need to start just doing them myself instead okay. of getting on planes and going to do them. I should do them like right here in mm-hmm. this room. I should do a virtual with you. We should do a co-virtual. You should do kick cadet and some stuff, and I'll do mine. No we'll get on there. We'll do a three out. Yes, they do. Every yes, they do. That's very nice of you to say. Yeah, but but, but the, some of the stuff they want, you're not gonna want to sell. <laughs> <laughs> like you just came to you, right? <laughs> like, you know, like what? Like, I'm not gonna say what they'd want. What do they want? They they want like the oh okay <laughs> oh, like a, a picture. Oh well, no, they would like pictures, the but they would want strange requests. Like if you, so, you get a personalized stuff, right? So mm-hmm. like, all right, so virtual. They'll they'll have pre orders, mm-hmm. and the pre orders will have a name or they'll just want thing and a bang and but then but then they're they'll also even the pre orders or while it's live they'll ask for stuff like the like girls like I've heard there's like crazy requests like sit on my face, whatever sign your name oh, right? they, they or something you weird that. you know like that kind of vulgar <laughs> like like I don't I can't even. My mind's not on that mode this early. Like it was, and so it's live. Like they they, they make this. Yeah, there's a live, so they'll do pre-orders, right? So you'll get there. It's like this one was a four-hour one, which was kind of long, but most of them are usually three hours. So you'll get there maybe before that. That you'll do some private stuff. You'll sign like a private thing for like an hour. You'll sign random stuff for them. This and this and that, and then. They'll come on and there'll be a stack of pre-orders. So people are pre-ordered and have already sent their stuff and already want they want. So you do those. Hey, hey, uh, Raymond, uh, God bless the Undertaker. Keep fanging the bang and gang grow. And you hold it up ah, and they'll, they'll get a screenshot, right? So they'll screenshot off that live stream. You know, they heard you say their name. You showed you signed it on there. Boom, boom, boom. And then they do at, at the same time, randomly throughout that, they'll have 10, 10, 10 to 12 other things for sale, like, Gimmick chalices you sign That's eh, so for, cool. for that or uh, whatever, and just random pictures, and they will have the numbers on the pictures, and you hold it up throughout. We got picture one also thing, or we got the original uh, promo pic, the original original you know prints, not not uh, copies of copies. You know, mm-hmm. like it'd be like eighty bucks. I see them going for eighty and hundred bucks this weekend. Whoa. You know, like yeah. So they'll do all that. So you do pre sales, so you advertise it. So the biggest thing about them, Virtuals, I think, is getting a platform of a following. So you've already, we both got a following here. So I, I don't think it's so unreasonable to do our own pre-sale, go make our own 8 by 10 up, set up a thing, do our own order. So all they got to do, and then when they do order, they just go to PayPal, or maybe they go to FNB or whatever, you keep track of it. Hey, I want to kick it that number 12 um, in her bathing suit, leopard, cheetah, what? print. I don't know. <laughs> like, whatever, whatever you, whatever you're. You yeah, have got tense. it. I, I don't. Got I don't it. know what your pretends. Whatever they are. Yeah. Right? Whether you got the the, mm, the tongue and the smile, <laughs> and, eh, thing and banging, or or kick it detton, or whatever. Kick it detton. Kick it detton. My uh, Singing and blinging, and oh, know. that's cool. <laughs> or whatever you know, you could sing and blinging. But they, you could do it. The pre orders will say, it. and what they also do too is they charge for the signature when they buy it online, right? So, uh, I want that photo for fifty bucks uh, signed. Yeah, okay. All right, well, it's 10 or $15 more for an inscription or different mm, inscriptions smart. than these inscriptions. So then they hit you for an inscription. So, like, um, you know, like, whatever it is, even if it's just one of your sayings, like, want some, get some, you know, that, that's 10 bucks. So it, it, they kind of hit them in all angles. But the thing with the virtuals is they're hitting fans where it got real big during COVID. And all these guys that had the, the shops and, and that were doing signings in their shops and stuff, they – slayed it during like uh during the covid where everything's done because they were doing these virtuals with people and uh they weren't relying on people to come into the shop or relying on people to come to the conventions they were so they started reaching like where's slipknot from iowa iowa so they're reaching places like iowa they're reaching places like uh uh the scotland a lot of things from scotland a lot of people from scotland buy stuff the UK, a lot of things, UK, Australia. So they're reaching in nooks and nooks and crannies where these people cannot travel to conventions or or get to Wrestling Universe, the shop in Queens or whatever. I guess I just plugged Wrestling Universe. or, or um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who did I work for this weekend? It was, uh, why can I not remember their names? Oh, gosh. Gonna kill Insert me. here. <laughs> they're going to kill me. I can't ever remember what I'm doing. Uh, ah, but 
They're good dudes. Oh, Think Inc. I was with Think Inc. Signatures mm. this week. Think Inc. Think Inc. They're two, two, two cousins out of Long Island. Really great guys. Very young guys. But they treat you good. And it's good. It's nice and easy. You get off the plane. You go to the hotel. It's in the hotel. Oh, that's nice. So you go to your room. The next day you get up. You sign for four, five, whatever. And then get on the plane and go home. But um, yeah, but I don't know why we couldn't do it here. Let's do it. Raymond wants to take some pictures. Yeah, and links, but you know, and then uh, it just they they go on in the Facebook or whatever, or you have a PayPal set up, and you go, okay, we can't sign in to you. Put that money in, boom, PayPal, boom, everything, bam, you mail it. So you set a price in with the shipping and what you think is fair to to, to you could deal with and, and make money. But hmm. you're sitting there for three hours. You got to have a host. I mean, Raymond could be a host. He's not very Raymond, talkative. You good? If Raymond didn't want to do it. She bring somebody in. That's uh, Jude. Yeah, that's a, you know, for not, not, yeah. For the yeah. holidays? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice Yeah, guess. well, the holidays are missing. Obviously, Thanksgiving's upon us, then Hanukkah, then Christmas. We're, we're, we're I know. all through it. Then New Year's, like, and okay. it's another year. So this might be have to be the first of the year gift if we did okay. that. Like because you want to build up, you want to give it a month or two of advertising, get pre-sales in and stuff, get your best build up. And then, then you go live and you're talking. Like, a lot of people just buy it live because they'll happen to click on it. But, yeah, that's what a virtual is called. Got it. I, but they're making a killing, though, for people that couldn't. That Now they just took conventions away. Like, you do conventions, right? So, like, mm-hmm. these virtuals are, like, probably hurting the conventions now because people are, like, they're not flying into the conventions much. I'm like, well, I'll just wait. I'm going to get Captain Nemo or whatever his name is. Uh, Captain Nemo. Uh, William Shatner on, on a virtual. <laughs> if even the, like, <laughs> Yes. 20,000 no. leagues. With him, Captain Kirk. And... Yeah, William Shatner. There he is. There he is. I mean, you know, I I think that both can exist because there are people that want to be in person and watch you sign it and take a picture with you. But I also like what you said, the idea that someone in Jackson Hole, Wyoming can be like, I want a picture from Gangrel. Jackson, we see how she pulled out. You must know somebody there. I don't, but (laughs) but it's a place I really want to visit. I think, uh, no, Montana, where where does, uh, oh gosh, uh. Bischoff, Eric Bischoff. He's always in what, Montana or something? I don't, like, or, know. I don't know. It's really beautiful there. Susan and I are trying to figure out where to go. I want to go to Graceland. You want to go to Graceland? Yes. <laughs> I, I've driven around Graceland a lot when I lived in Memphis when I worked for USWA. Uh, I never got to go in. I think Anna's been to Graceland. I'll have to. Yeah. Salt, you mean? Yeah, Salt, yeah. <laughs> salt, Jolie. Anna Jolie has been to Graceland. <laughs> We're going to call her Salt Diaz. Salty. <laughs> it's been salty lately. Like, like, oh, no. Apparently somebody kicked her in the head at a show <gasps> and then, then walked out on the, 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 didn't want to work her on the next show, the next day or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. So Messy. a lot of salt going on out there. Apparently. Anymore. Apparently, apparently, because all these rumors are coming back to me. A lot of stuff going on. I missed because CCW had three shows this weekend. They had one in Florida City. And they had one. And, uh, and uh, so Florida City was a Friday night. And on Saturday, they had two shows running, one in Nashville, Tennessee, and one in Melbourne, right? So three shows this weekend. They, they got a show this weekend, Breaking Chains, 50 or some shit um, at the school. So that'll be there. So anybody's wanting to watch wrestling and you catch this in time, yeah, you'll be able to see it. So you're trying to work off your Thanksgiving dinner. You want to go watch a little wrestling two days later, Saturday, uh, at the CCW uh, facility. Uh, You're wrapping the shirt today. Oh, yeah. Office shirt today. <laughs> office. Uh, yeah. So there's a show this weekend, Breaking Chains something. I don't know what Breaking Chains, like 26 or something like that. 26. Yeah. yeah that's 26. A, that's like, 26. That's a lot of sh- <laughs> I'm 26. <laughs> yeah, right. So song's about being 26, though. Is it? I, hey, there's 20. Hey, 19. She's only 17. Fucking Those are not. The pervs in the world. Right? She's only 17. Hopefully he's also 17. Spotlight, it was finger too. No. <laughs> I have my first CCW show on the books, though. So. Oh, yeah? In the books, you did it? No, no. Like Coming. On, on, the books. on the books. On the books. On the books. All right. On it's the on books. a book. Which one's that? Necronomicon. Um, it is in uh, Hialeah at the brewery. Oh, at the brewery. Bash at the yeah, brewery. Yeah, yeah. Those are fun shows. Got a very uh, ECW meets like Florida Championship Wrestling vibe or something. But the crowd, the crowd, of course, you feed crowd alcohol. Cool. The show. Let's do it. Who knows? The matches may not really be as good as they seem because everybody's just fueled on alcohol. Whatever. Heck, when I was there, I almost got in a fight last time, and I wasn't even drinking yet. Well, I was drinking. I already had, I had a beer in me, but it was the Triple Choke Slam from CCW. They have their own beer now. Really? I don't know. I, I took pictures with it and everything, but like... Uh, you had your beer, too. I had a beer, but CCW has a beer, but it's their beer, but like, I don't know, man. If you're not... 
You better be an ex- uh, <laughs> that beer f me up, man. That that beer is like ten percent alcohol. That's a or lot. Something. That's a lot of alcohol. I had two beers and I'm like, man, maybe it's the medicine. Like, uh, yo, yeah, I you're feel, not supposed to drink on. I'm me. feeling like really something, something. So I had a beer and I had a beer and a half. <laughs> and I'm not gonna name any names, right? I'm not gonna. What does it rhyme with? The names. <laughs> ill, <laughs> ill, ill. Okay, you be ill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name it rhymes with ill. So, uh. I have, I, have, I have two beers. I was at the last yeah. brewery show. I have, I have a beer and a half, actually, because I had a beer, and then I walked back with a, a, two beers in my hand. I put down, but I had only had started drinking a second one. So so uh, I'm sitting down. I'm with Susan, and I'm going to watch the show. Like, I'm getting ready to watch this birthday party. I was there early for a kid's birthday party thing. And then uh, I sit down, and um, I'm like, I hmm, don't want business. Like, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, I'm gonna watch a birthday party. Hey, hurrah, hurrah! You know, somebody comes up. Yo, you got heat with me. You want to go outside? Blah 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 blah. I like, who is this? I'm looking up. I'm thinking of somebody joking, and I realize it's like the name that rhymes with ill. Ill. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I felt like he, his hands were up, and he was threatening. So my back is bad, you know. Like I'm like like can't run or anything. So I I, I, I get kind of mad. Like Raymond said, I get kind of, when I'm, when I'm mad, I get really fast. So mm-hmm. I, I jumped up and I think I overwhelmed this individual that like, oh shit, this guy with the bad back that's 53 years old. 52 years old is getting ready to get up and kick my 21 year old ass. <laughs> like, and like, I jumped up and come on, mother, f- come on. He started, I, I don't know how I made it all the way around the guardrails one way and came all the way around the guardrail this way while he was backpedaling. <laughs> I was but my back wouldn't have been bad. I'm glad my back was so hurt and my legs numb that like I didn't catch him or I already killed this poor guy. You know, I felt, but I'm like, what is wrong with the world? This guy coming up to me because lot. his girlfriend was taken off the show because she said a lot of bad things about the company and, I, and just showed up dressed. And I said, how do you expect you're going to work? Just, you talk all kinds of shit oh. on my, this, you show up dressed in your gear and like, oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. Nah, that shit doesn't work anymore, man. You yeah. gotta be accountable and held accountable for the stuff you say. The Definitely, whole, you gotta be held accountable. But don't don't have your man come at me and try to beat me up like, yeah, I don't and like that run. At all. But speaking about getting beat up, like, Raymond, yes. I'm hot at Raymond because Raymond's like Seth Rollins looked like a punk. Like Seth Rollins Look at that got segue right there. No, <laughs> that? that was so good. Oh my god. But, uh, Okay, let's this, go. Let's talk about the Seth Rollins thing. Like, I, I'm like, the, I'm defending Seth Rollins. Raymond, okay. uh, this is what happened pre-show here as we got in waiting on the coffee to come in because Raymond said he ordered it but it didn't come, but he's blaming the Uber guys and, and that they're elderly. It was he's thing. always saying they're elderly. They don't know how to use the app. So Raymond not only is whatever here, he's also got something against the elderly. <laughs> I'm thinking Raymond is the real Travis Scott in this room. <laughs> God for <laughs> Bitch. He's gonna have. A, we're gonna be walking through a skull when we come in here. Like he's gonna have us walking through a skull when we come here. Is that too soon for the Travis Scott? Thing? All right, well, whatever. He's a bad man. No, he's not. Oh my god, man, the best. Oh my god. All right, so. All right, so. Raymond's like Seth Rollins looked like a punk. This rest. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I watched Raw, but I guess I turned it off because I was Anna. Believe it or not, was watching Raw when I came home last night. And, you know, so I watched, uh, like, Damien Priest. Damien. You love him. I love That's Damien Priest. I love. I like everything about Damien Priest except for that big skull tattoo on his back. I wish he didn't get that. Like, okay. Because, like, he's kind of, good, like, you know, he's got the skull. But I don't know. They're trying to make him, like, just really, like, he's losing it. Like, what are they trying to build him for, like, Roman or something? What? Like, nah, he loses I it. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I, I do like Damien Priest. But, you know, so I'm checking it out. But I guess I missed the part where. Well, it, it cut a, away. A fan attacked a. Seth Rollins. Not just any fan. Someone that Raymond is a fan of. <laughs> I just the you love him. <laughs> What's his name? Queens? Queens Flip. Queens Flip. Flip. All right. So With this guy. Name? Queens Flip. How much does Queen Flips weigh? Probably 300. 300. Okay. That, okay. Right. Well, he was running like Warren Sapp, but he's 300 pounds. He's a big dude right now. Picture like. At 300 pounds, that's a lot of weight, right? What's Seth weigh? Probably 220 at the most. You know, okay, he's well, lean. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I've seen Seth in person, but it's been a while, so I can't give you an accurate thing because TV is very illusional. But mm-hmm. Raymond's confident this Queen's Flip weighs 300 pounds. So we clearly outweighs Seth Rollins by a lot of weight. Um, Raymond's saying Seth Rollins look like like a, a like a punk, or he got beat up, or what? he got clowned, clown foot, whatever. Seth Rollins got the bad end of things. I, yeah. Okay, you agree too with him. No, 
I'm with I'm with Raymond. I'm You're with Raymond. Yes. All right. Well, I'm saying I'm defending Seth Rollins because listen, Seth Rollins is walking back. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a be- you know he's Mr. Rogers. Everything's good. You know he comes out like you know he's very like but okay. It's Mr. Rogers. He's walking back. You can't see that it, he's looking at him coming out of the cut. Seth Rollins could be looking at some. Hot girl over to the left out of the corner of his eye. I hope it's and, and then he turns back and he just sees Booger McFarlane running at him, you know, like <laughs> Booger McFarlane. A big li- like a football player. Like, okay. like, like so what's the so, name Booger? <laughs> Booger McFarlane. Tampa Bay fans are no Booger McFarlane. All right, so um Okay. So Booger. granted, so even if he looks up last second, this guy's got he's got a fifty yard spread. I mean, he's full steam, three hundred pounds plus running at you. Of course, he's going to knock you back. And if Seth Rollins, if you look, he was kind of flat-footed. He wasn't expecting. He was caught mid-walk. He probably turned on, what's this? Kind of much like I was with the guy's name that rhymes with ill. Comes out to me. Blah, 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 blah. I was trying to digest for a second. What's going on? Do I even know this guy? If he's seen him, he probably said, what? What is this? And wah, it was there. And then he grabbed the guillotine front face lock. Now, granted, Raymond said, well, if that happened to me, it wouldn't have ended like that. I agree. No, it probably wouldn't because I would probably kicked all the security guards in the head to get to the guy. But that's me. I'm hot headed. Maybe Seth's more mature than me. Maybe he's more level headed tempo. Yeah, but like he he after he's like, you little boy, you're a boy. Come like. Who said that, Seth? Seth. Yeah, that's what he said to the guy. Well, that's kind of a boy. You can't use the word boy though. Like, I'm not did. defending those. I didn't hear that stuff. But yeah, well, he's a a, a Queen Flips is a black guy, right? Yeah, you definitely don't want to use that terminology. I, like, I, I, I think like, he was saying it to be racial. Like, I, I think he was just, like, saying it like, I'm a man, you're a little boy. I, I just... Well, I, he got ran over by a little boy, though. He's like a 300... He's a big boy. Yeah, but know? like you said, he had a running start. He did have a running start. But, so he caught him, and he there now... Like, I don't know. He's probably caught off guard. I, I, I know, but, like, with the Jericho thing, like, now, mind you... This, I didn't see the Jericho thing. He, like, punched the dude, so it happened, like... Well, a, he, has a, he has hockey in his background, like... Yeah, but that's all wrestling <laughs> in his background. No, he's from, like, Iowa or something. I, I don't know. I, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. The state I don't like to visit. But, um, <laughs> we talked about that, right? Um, no, no, I'm just saying he got caught off guard. There was a lot of weight coming at him. That... They hit you like the best of quarterbacks have been blindsided and gone down. I mean, you know, Dan the Man Marino, Tom Brady, Doug Williams, some great quarterbacks that I, they all they all gone down. Booger, <laughs> Booger McFarland's coming running at you, bro. You're going down if you, if you don't ca- if you don't get in that stance quick and do it. He didn't bob and weave him. He didn't ole him with the cape. I mean, that's a big bull running. Like, how do you get the nickname? No. I think, I think his mama gave him that name. I, I think, I mean, this is terrible. I, I, of all nicknames? Yeah, blame his mama. I don't okay. know. <laughs> like, okay. But, I mean, he got him in the front face lock and, like, you know, granted he didn't throw no punches, but maybe... You think he was being respectful? Maybe, maybe it's all an angle. I don't believe anything I see. Oh, no. it's not, That's not an angle. Like, It'd be like WrestleMania this year. It'd be like... Flip no, it Queens. Was, it was on the news. Uh, it was on the news this morning. Even, yeah. Even better. They made a statement. WWE. I mean, like, that what? Seth Rollins is a bitch, according to you? Ooh. That's what I was hoping to see, but. No, he, I no, think he got caught off guard. and Maybe he didn't punch and beat the guy up and act all machismo, but maybe he's just a. Like, maybe he's on a higher level than everybody else, you yeah. know? Ooh. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't look good for professional wrestling, right? That's like, what? uh. You know, I mean, but it's it's entertainment. But for example, in Florida Championship Wrestling, Eddie Graham, who who committed suicide unfortunately, but like was so tough, and he shot himself once, and then he, he couldn't finish the job. He crawled and got the gun and did it again. You know, this guy, Holy like, like this is uh, Mike Graham's dad, uh, Florida Championship Wrestling. But he would like encourage his heel champions. He'd put titles on them. He'd encourage them to go get in bar fights. But if they lost that bar fight. Strip them of the belt, they lose the belt right away. Mm. So, like that, that back then, this would have made wrestling look really bad. Now, the sports entertainment. I mean, there's guys that that should not be wearing their little spandexes out there wrestling. They're, they're not tough well, men at all. Like, like in in the old school sense. Not not. I'm not saying now that they can't do it. Like, but sure, I, I just don't like the idea that this kid thinks it's funny or it's not funny. Like, who Raymond? Is, yeah, no, you no, should no, think no, it's no, funny. Not Raymond. Raymond like, not Raymond. This guy flips. Whatever his name is, uh, Flip Queen, Gordon Queen or what's his name, Queen's Flip. Queen's, Queen's Flip. Flip. I don't think it's funny. Like you're interrupting a business. Like this is a show. This isn't a run-in. Like you can't do that. Well, shit. I mean, if it's you, not, if, if Seth didn't have any 
he would have hit his head on the guardrail, anything, you know, like it's, it's awful. a lot of things. Yeah, it's not entertainment. But and why was it provoked? Did, did Seth Rollins say something about his girl or something? He called him a butt. Yeah, he's just a troll, like so, just an idiot. So, so, so the, to come with that. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know. But Raymond was also saying that sickening, you had commenting sickening. on was how they kept filming. Well, they, they're probably filming for, like, I imagine, like, I think that might have been Tim filming. And I just saw him in the Cincinnati airport. Great guy. I love that guy. Uh, been there forever and ever and ever. Obviously, if I know him, he's been there forever. Uh, but they're listening to somebody in, inside the production truck, which yeah. would be Kevin Dunn. And, uh, and I'm sure that they kept it rolling for legal reasons. Or maybe even they would have kept it rolling. Maybe Seth Rollins would have came out in the better end of it instead of going, hey, whatever that was. Now, I'll give you that. That was silly after, like, like, but, but maybe he was just, uh, I think he was shocked. Uh, I'm going to defend yeah, yeah. Seth shock, Rollins. Shock, I think he fine. was shocked. I think he was just like, what the hell just happened? And, you know, it, everybody reacts different. Some people, you know, like, you go in the room and you scare them. They do the silent crab backwards. You ever seen that? Have you surprised anybody? You ever crept oh, yeah, out? Like, 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 and they're like, so if you can't, if you listen to Spotify, it's me making a face and crawling like a crab backwards. It was a very yeah. good, accurate impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. accurate. You know, uh, everybody reacts different. I particularly punch immediately. Yeah, I say sorry later. I'm like, ah, shouldn't have did that, man. You know, like everybody reacts different. Maybe he was caught surprised, but but him getting run over like that, that's like like I said, like a three hundred something pound booger McFarland running at him, and like, he was like just one of those small quarterbacks that got caught in a rush. You know? Oh, before we talk more wrestling, did you see Shenanigans is going out of business? What Shenanigans? The one in. On Sheridan. Oh, oh, east and west. Oh, it's, so Sheridan's west. The the one that's right across from Ty Park. Yeah, yeah, that's west. It's yeah, gone. yeah, yeah, that's it's, west. It's leaving. Why? It's the been rent, there forever. I used to have beers there when I was a kid working construction. Yeah, for lunch. <laughs> the, um, it's a staple in South Florida. Yeah. Uh, I guess the rent went up. Wow, but East is still open then, huh? I think the East yeah, is still the beach? open. Wow. I haven't been to that one. Sorry, I, it was on my mind because I remember. Uh, it's a lot better. I mean, I like it better, but. Everybody else, Billy Fi, everybody, else, all the all the local guys like that one. Yeah. It's it's such a been there forever. Magical yeah. oh, R.I.P. Jukebox is right. Jukebox is a good jukebox. There, it's Wait. close, right to the front when you come in. It's right over to one side. Do they have your beer there? Uh I know that was at Geronimo's. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was at Geronimo. 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 It was. And it was also in uh, the ale house for a while, but but that all went away. The, the dude that like to re- remain silent with a evil cap on, uh, I'm sure that was just all effed up by that dude. Mm. Uh, I don't know what the rhyme his name with besides ass, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> like, <Okay. laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, not Booker McFarland. But, <laughs> but no, that's gone. But 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 I will promote CCW's Triple Choke Slam. You can go down to where's that ale house. What? Unbranded Brewery in oh, Hialeah. Got the, it. Uh, the, uh, what's it called? What? The, where are you going? What is your I show at? Hialeah. It's the in Hialeah. Brewery. That's all I know. I'm Unbranded Brewery. You can go down. It's Triple Choke Slam. Check it out. It's really good beer, but like, be prepared. Like, Make sure you got a meal in you or something because uh, that, that beer will sneak up on you. Do they not have food there? Just beer? Uh, they, uh, during the shows, though, they do have food. They make this crazy brisk that's just phenomenal. And then they have brisk? Uh, brisk, like meat, like whatever that is. Brisket? Brisket, yeah. Because um, brisk is not the same thing. Well, what is brisk? The brisk cut? is the circumcision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it could be part of that, too. It is Hanukkah coming up. <laughs> like, yeah, like, Boogers and brisk. Boogers and brisk. This is, what? Brisket. It's Brisket. amazing. It, it, it's really good. I, I don't know how we got on food and Sorry. triple choke we're slam hungry. beers. We were talking about <laughs> Seth Rollins and uh, this fan running in and stuff. It, it's unnecessary. You know, back, you know, I, I, I don't know. When I came into wrestling, it was a lot different world. We were talking about that. I, I touched on that some. But, mm-hmm. you know, like, <laughs> they, if they would run in on you in a day, if you, a lot of times, they would not only would the wrestler beat that guy up in the ring, like like literally beat the guy up. They would take him in the back and then beat him up. <laughs> like they would bring him in the back, beat him up, or make him apologize, or terrorize him to death. They did such like things that you can't do within the law today. But they didn't arrest the guy. Mm-hmm. They didn't arrest him. This guy's probably gonna get. You think, he's well, probably he, gonna get jail time. Yeah, WWE said they're pressing they're pressing charges to the full extent. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure this well, guy. Good, can, but he was live on Instagram when we were looking at him. Out. 
Assault, Build. Assault, so oh, a, a little cute, simple assault. <laughs> yeah, but assault gets you prison time now if you don't get a good lawyer. You know, or if you have any other like other things against you, you know, you could do some times. Two pretzels walking down the road. One of them was assaulted. <laughs> 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 That's as bad as my other my, my pirate jokes. <laughs> Why couldn't a kid get in a pirate movie? Why? Because it was rated R. <laughs> England. These guys hate it. One of the wrestlers told the other wrestler, and you'd almost end up in wrestler's court if you told that joke. You know. What? You, what? What is the pirate's favorite letter? R. You think it's the R, but it's really the C. The C. Ah. Oh, God. Why is a pirate called a pirate? Oh, I get excited when you get pirate jokes. Why? Because they are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. You know you're way around slide night. I tried to be like Dr. Evil and spin my chair around and it didn't work. Mm. Okay. <laughs> There's not enough room on the set to be spinning a chair around. Uh, Sorry, my bad. Miss Evil. I got really excited. Is, is that Bigglesworth? Was his cat's name? Mr. Bigglesworth. Mr. Bigglesworth. I did a panel for Mini Me before, Vern. Vern, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I partied with him once. Oh, boy. Yeah. Did we talk about this before? I think I he think was. We did. No, I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 no. No, not Vern or Mini Me or none of no? those. No, never Doctor Evil on here. Mm. So you partied with Vern? Yeah, yeah. He was tripping on mushrooms and acid. I think. <laughs> <laughs> huh? With Vern. A little Mini Me from little, Austin little, Powers. Mini-me, yeah. Have you seen Austin Powers? It's oh, a hard God. knocks life. Uh-huh. Undertaker's not it's, in it, so. Oh. You know. Oh, so did, what movie was the Undertaker in? Where they had the shrunken heads? Did you see that one? You know what was that? Where they were uh, these these. Uh, Oh my goodness! It was a while. They, they wore the big black coats and had little tiny heads. Undertaker. That could be any movie. Uh, Galaxy Quest was it? Uh, he was not in Galaxy. Well, I, it was. Wait, uh, it he, they were like these space bounty hunters and uh, not space balls. Uh, if he was in space, no, games, it's not space. I was trying to find the yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ra- Raymond's looking it up. Uh, guys. Well, Raymond should have known if he's such an Undertaker. As fan. people are yelling at their but, computers right now, they're like, "It's blah blah blah," and we're like, yeah. "Shut up, you boogers!" Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. But yeah, like like they would have handled things different. There would have been no courts and no no. Um, it would have just been like wrestlers just something. They would have like either the wrestler would beat the guy up bad, and, which is sad because usually people just I, I don't know, but you shouldn't run across the guard rail. But I, I don't condone that anyway. Or they would take him in the back and beat him up too, or, or make the guy apologize. But they never arrested him really. They you know. What, what do you think is a fair legal punishment for this guy? But uh, like a fine, jail time. Uh, well, at least uh, minimal probation, like definitely probation. like probation. Uh, but banned for life from any. Well, definitely events. banned from live events. But you know, I, I I'm not big and overcrowd. I don't know the guy, and I don't know the situation. It just depends about what goes down in court. Like, he shouldn't come across the guard rather than. So I mean, you know, definitely probation. Uh, maybe six months in jail. I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't know. You, that, you can't just encourage people to come across the guard rail without no, any kind of without ever. levying anything. In the old days, they knew if they came across, they got their ass whooped. Possibly, they were taken to the back and got their ass whooped again and made to apologize, but they didn't go to jail. But they left with broken ribs or a black guy, a couple stitches. Nowadays, people can't squeak the wrong way without being canceled or in trouble or something. So, on that note, you cannot come across a guard rail and interfere either. Yeah. So. You can't do that, so it's unacceptable. So you you, you got to answer. You got to have some kind of fine, some kind of penalty. But I'm not big on jail time. You know, I'm not yeah, big yeah. on suburban commando. Oh, oh. Well, there you go. I don't know suburban wait, wait, commando. Wait, wait, he's also in it. Yeah, they like they have. They're like a, a galactic bounty ah, hunter. Percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Adorable. Yeah, it's been a long time, but I knew he was in something. Yeah, suburban commando. Speaking of Hulk Hogan, kind of another transition was Ric Flair. Recently mentioned your favorite. Uh, recently mentioned that he who that- who no <laughs> well, <it's> backwards. <laughs> uh, I guess he he called out Hulk Hogan. He probably says that about me all the time. Who I don't know. Yeah. Um, he called. Co- it's covered <laughs> up. Covered uh, yeah, he, he was. Saying I like that, that dolphin thing. Thank you so me. much, vintage. Although he- I'm a Bucks fan, but but the, the green looks good on you. I don't know. Thank you the so teal much. Teal green or whatever. Thank you. Is, Does so. it make me look like I like sports? Go sports teams. No, uh, well, no, you didn't get the Booger McFarland reference or the one. <laughs> <laughs> but they were all Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So. Yeah, true that. Uh, Raven wanted us to make our bets on who's going to win the football game on Thursday. 
Uh, which the three of them, Raymond? Yeah, Raymond. If you can give us the the things, I'll just pick fifty fifty out of it. Well, Detroit's terrible, so go with the Cowboys over okay. Detroit. <laughs> and I love the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. My husband. And I was just that. in Detroit, so I had to listen to all the fans complain about how bad Detroit is. So. Yike! But um, uh, but I think it's Detroit and Cowboys always, and then usually Green Bay and somebody Minnesota or something like that. I like how I'm you say sure. Minnesota. 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 Yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what the games are. Could be Indianapolis and somebody. Well, know. while he's looking that up, I guess Ric uh, Flair had mentioned that he thinks Hulk Hogan is very sick, and so Hulk Hogan has like been posting pictures. Ill of or yeah, that, yeah. Maybe. He'd be ill in. Ill in, like sick, like not like ill. Yeah. Right. right. That, yeah. That's what he's claiming. He's saying that he's very sick. Hulk Hogan said he's at his sixth grade weight or something crazy. Have you seen this? Oh. I didn't click it, but I've seen it. Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't know. get the click, huh? Okay. You thought it was clickbait? No, I just no okay. Uh, who's the games this weekend before we go on? Because now my curiosity is killing me this Sunday, you Saturday, Thursday. Like Buffalo Bills. Okay, the Bills, Bills, yep. New Orleans Saints. Okay. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Saints. Yeah. Okay. I'm, this is 50-50, guys. This is what I got. <laughs> Are you guys going against each other? I don't no, know. I don't we don't know. have We've to. We've already picked the same team twice. We picked Dallas. We both picked Dallas. Yeah, sorry. Going against America's team, even though I'm not a fan of America's team on Thanksgiving. <laughs> the, the day you, you obviously choose to throw the cow, arrows. Cow, cow girls. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you got to get on that. All right. So he's, 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 he's a slow process when you talk sports with him. So, um, <laughs> so movie, sports, nothing. Raymond, I'm, come to believe you live in this studio and that's it. Um, and you don't watch any TV while you're in here, even though there's like five TVs in here. Um, the Bears and Lions. Yeah, the there. Raiders and the Cowboys. Raiders, Cowboys, Whoa. and Bills, Saints. Uh, I'm still still go with the Cowboys. Okay, Cowboys. Uh, I'm gonna go. I with, I'm gonna go with Saints, and I'm gonna go with whoever's playing the Lions, Bills, <laughs> uh, Bears, Bears. So, the oh, yeah, definitely Bears. Bears. Yeah, but, I'm gonna. Okay, okay. So we're going Bears, Cowboys, Saints. Yeah. that's where we're at. That's it. That's where we're at. Okay. Anyway, oh, do you want me to look up the whole right, so, thing? Hulk Hogan sick. That, that's what Rick Flair, Flair why is, is Rick Flair saying it? Why is he... I, I don't know. Let's see. Hulk... Uh, because he's being canceled or something? Hogan. Oh. Yeah. He did, so... he, he started a podcast. Yeah, yeah, so, it was somebody, yeah. Hulk Hogan, 68, dealing with really bad health issues, reveals WWE legend and pal Ric Flair as new pick emerges. So he's considered by... Um, well, hell, he's 68, you know. He shared a picture... Saying that he's more depleted, he said he's back to his ninth grade weight, which is 275. That's still amazing. Uh, yeah. but, but but he's really big, so his bone structure and everything. Like so Ric Flair said on his Woo Nation Uncensored podcast that he's having some really bad health issues, but he keeps up with me. We support each other, good and bad. When I was in the hospital, he flew up that day, like everyone. Uh, that's nice. So... I mean, I, I just, everybody needs friends. I mean, that's good. I mean, camaraderie. I mean, I'm sorry if he if Hulk Hogan's ill. Uh, anybody's ill. I'll definitely send you. Uh, I've always gotten along with Hulk Hogan, despite ups and downs and round and rounds he has in different times in his life in the media and stuff. But I've always gotten along great with him. So mm -hmm. you know, positive vibes out to him and healing powers, whatever's going on to himself and his family I mean, and stuff. In the face, he looks fine, but you never know what someone's going through. It could be in you know. '68. You're. Not that that's old in this world, but that's 68, you know. Mm -hmm. that Like, things going to come up. All your past will come up and catch you. I mean, all the different things. I mean, the abuse on your body. I'm, I'm only 52, and You're I'm nowhere. Baby. I'm no 70, like, Rick, 70. What's Rick Flair? 70 something? I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's 900. Yeah, well, he, he's probably really a vampire. Like, he's a <laughs> vampire. But, like, I mean, shit, he, he keeps motoring on past all his health issues. And, you know, I mean, I like the guy, but... <laughs> He, uh, it's a miracle. But he's still like, you know, he pushes forward. He's got, you know, he's got an extra pint of blood or something, you know, and <laughs> like whatever. Doesn't he want to wrestle again? Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Wait, would I, you wrestle him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bad back and all. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Be about, be about a lot like what happened the other time, like that guy that rhymes with ill. Where he ran around and like, because that's what happened with Ric Flair before, too. Same kind of, same, same thing. Talked a lot of shit and then backed up really fast when he stood up. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, but that's what happens, you know, people. Like, I'm no tough guy or nothing like that, but if you poke a finger on me and you come to fight, like, I'm more than likely not going to run. I might try to, if I don't know you, I'll be trying to figure out why. <laughs> like, this is a sanctioned fight between you. Yeah. Like, it's sanctioned, right? Oh, in, yeah. In you, a ring. You know, like, you know that guy Damon or whatever, celebrity boxing, you know that guy? 
Damon? Yeah, Damon something. He's he's out of here, out of South Florida, New York. He's all, he does all the celebrity boxing matches with all the celebrities. Oh, and, is he the guy that was from Tough Enough? No. Uh, You're not talking about that guy, are you? I, I don't know. This guy runs all the celebrity boxing stuff. Like uh, His name's Damon, I believe. Uh, gosh, I can't. Damon. Uh, whatever, but he's, he's, he always uses South Florida wrestlers. Cuter? No, no, that's Daniel. That's Daniel. Oh. No, no, this guy runs a, a celebrity boxing, actually. Okay. Like, like, he'll have, I'm available. He'll have, like, <laughs> like a boxer fight at somebody. He, like, one time reached out to have me, like, box Sandman, like, fight Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but, but my problem is, is, like, I would literally train and, 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 and fight, you know? <laughs> like, but uh, if he wanted to sanction that, I'm saying he'd get flair in there and not go on okay. there. Okay. Because the gloves are big and over padded, anyways, you know? Like, But still, it's still very physical, very hard, you know? You can still break a nose even with the nah. things around your head. Because I was going to send Lakai to do one. The last one he did was in the Miami Nice Center about two months ago. It was the same night as the brewery show Lakai was on, so he couldn't do it. But Lakai was going to do it. Oh, Lakai, I would. 500 be- bucks, I'll go fight. Like, I don't need to train. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He's Lakai. Yeah. He's a tough guy, Lakai. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people don't know it. Is he, and he doesn't talk about it. He probably doesn't want me to talk so about it. So, are you going to? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Sure, why not? So, he doesn't watch the show. Uh, like, yeah. So, yeah. But, like, Lakai, he, he's, he's, he's from Haiti, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, in his background, like, he told me he only wore clothes like barely wore clothes when he went to school like most of that they just ran around naked he came from a very very poor part of haiti lagoon or lagon haiti i think he might say lagon like lagon uh with the earthquake had the big earthquake but he's from there so he come up very hard so when he comes to south florida much of their idols are like like lakai was kimbo slice oh you know so so the, the 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 backyard fighting this and that so lakai he came up before wrestling um, and, and, and look at him, you wouldn't notice, well, he looks scary, kind of, but, you know, he's a massage therapist, he, he also works for a stretch zone, so he stretches, like, professional athletes and stuff like that, but he came up and doing basement fighting and stuff, and, and like, illegal underground fights, the same as, like, Kimbo, so, like, like all his teeth have been knocked out, and he's had to have fixed and all that, so he, he's not used to scrapping, so I don't know why we're talking about that, but, oh, but, yeah, so he was willing to go just, like, on, in a, in a, in a heart, Jump of a heartbeat. Yeah, I'll go down there with no training and take on a heavyweight actual boxer, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, it's, I'd it's still put my guy. money on the Kai. Yeah, he's got a lot of heart. And he's thick, he's strong, he's fast. He's so fast, so yeah. fast. But, you know, it, I, you, you could have raw this and this and that, but, I mean, it only takes one punch. But, uh, I mean, professional boxers, too, though, they could pick you apart all day if they can keep moving from you, you know? So it's, yep. a, it's an art to it. It's a, much an art. So it's, it's a very skilled art, yeah. So, uh, before we get into Pandora's box. Is it that time already? Well, I was going to say, we nah, talk about Survivor Series for a little bit. What happened right? to Survivor Series? Because I miss Ooh, Survivor Series. So, speaking of Ric Flair. Yes. We had the Survivor Series, which I didn't see, but I want to talk about Charlotte Flair. Now, Bless. Becky Lynch defeated her? Yes. And Becky Lynch's team, or is that just not? It was Becky word? Lynch, but it was like a dirty pinfall, right? Like dirty I think pinfall. I think her feet were on but the But was it like, was it like. Charlotte Flair, like, wasn't there a lot of rumors? Or these just rumors that she's trying to get fired or something? So she I'm not him? sure. The other thing that happened yesterday was that her and Andrade unfollowed each other on social media. Oof. I hate being that person. Oh, no, no, but be that person because okay. I don't know. Like, I like the gossip. Go ahead. Yeah, so that's the gossip is we don't know. He hasn't so, posted a picture of her in about a month. Oh, are so, they together? Are they not? So you hear rumors of her trying to get let go so she can, and she wants to be with Andrade, and then now I'm they've not, unfollowed each other now? Yeah, I don't know. But that, uh, you know what? I, I, I do think that has to be difficult to date someone in another oh it's tremendously yeah. difficult okay. <laughs> like, like. and and then you're kind of hearing about like real heat between charlotte and and becky i don't know how much of that is mm. shooting like oh. whatever but mm. I don't, what, what well do again i go back to the rule uh believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see you know mm. and i was taught that by boris malenko so and that, it applies to everything but uh, people do gossip and you know if they're if they're if there's smoke there's fire right so the smoke this fire so and then other uh, i don't know if this is gossip or not but what? raymond was uh saying that people were upset on the survivor series that raw's won how many years in a row four you said right four four years in a row right so do you do you, do you have a, a theory or an opinion on that no I, I i really don't i mean it is interesting that that is the case and i was saying to raymond also both the men and the women smackdown or mm-hmm. men and women raw teams both won so that is a little peculiar too but it's it's one of those things where 
I mean, you don't really know who's going to be on what brand every year, right? I mean, they switch up the rosters, so... They, they, they have the lottery, right? The draft. The draft. Sure. Right? Not yeah. too, too long before that. And But Raymond believes Vince McMahon's trying to, like, subliminally get rid of SmackDown get or rid something. Of <laughs> I don't know what Raymond's doing. Oh, I don't think... Raymond's a conspiracy guy. He's got all these conspiracies over there. I don't even know. Raymond should be sitting here with all his conspiracies and stuff instead of, like, throwing them at us, like, while we're talking <laughs> and interrupting a perfectly good conversation we're having. About you know? shenanigans. Right? He's all upset that The Rock wasn't on, on Survivor Series Apparently either. a lot of people were <laughs> upset. I mean... The Rock is a very busy man. He is arguing all the time with Vin Diesel. They are working out their stuff right now. Are they still fighting? Because Vin Diesel said he Rock's a terrible actor and he had to carry him and stuff. Or he something. said that. Well, I thought I heard something like that. <laughs> but they're family. <laughs> I don't think Rock's Vin Diesel's family. Yeah, I don't think. It's <laughs> that, that's, that's interesting. I I don't remember hearing that i just know that they didn't enjoy working together but there's still movies to be made yeah i'm gonna ask you a question what? go ahead you think vin diesel's like uh you ever seen what a woman no but i know he has a twin brother right well maybe you've seen his twin brother with a woman but have you ever seen vin diesel with a woman in the movies i think he's being a diva so oh you think I, he's a diva i think he's a diva yeah and i think he's like <laughs> Well, does, does he? Well, yeah, I can't. Yeah. You know, because in my head, I was like, "What other movies does he do?" And then I just remembered he's Groot. So, oh, he's Groot. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He is Groot. The little Groot. Yeah, he's the voice of Groot. Oh. And he okay. records each take for each thing. Yeah, he's oh, that's cool. Hundreds that's of cool. times. Well, no, I like it. I watch Triple X, and I'm I'm a Fast and the Furious guy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I like it too. I just I don't uh, know diva, he, huh? I think he's being a diva. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ah, you hear all those rumors when you live out in LA, you know, John Travolta, you know the rumors. Vin I've Diesel, heard those rumors. the rumors, Vin Diesel. So. I haven't heard those rumors well, about that's Vin Diesel. What I've heard in the inside oh, gossip Google. back when I was living out there. Okay. <laughs> I'm a Google. Such after. a waste of a man. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so Rock doesn't show up, but there is a battle royale in his name. Right? Oh, is it? it? His, yeah, it was in his name. The Rock Battle Royale? Yeah. Oh, is that 25 the one? man and Ricochet was victorious. Who? Ricochet. Oh, Ricochet. Let's talk Remember about Damien. Was Damien Priest on the, on, the, on the thing? He was pre-show with Shinsuke. <laughs> champion for champion. Pre-show. Why are you laughing? Because Damien Priest shouldn't be pre-show. Yeah, but there, okay. But but think about it like this. Take the battle royal off. Just put Damien Priest in. Take out the battle royal, but that's oh, how yeah. most guys get to work. Well, shame on it. I, I, the, the, the guy that's getting the push should be working. I it just I, I can't sit through these five hour long pay per views, you know. That's why you take the battle royale. <laughs> and, and then and do you swap it? Do you put battle royale pre show and then you put Damien and yes. Shinsuke on the okay? Yes. Who was in the battle royale? I don't know. Right. There was twenty five men. Yeah, pre show that. Rattle pre, them off. Pre show the hell out of that. Cut their pay in half and, and give Damien Priest some more money. Well, we don't know that Damien's not getting enough money or <laughs> more money. He's just still push on the show. You know, like Damien. Okay, he like. <laughs> but, but do you think you're being biased, or do you think most people share? No, I, I think I would. I don't know the battle royal. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what, how many other matches with the, the Survivor Series. So you, you got all we these. We had Roman Reigns. Main so you have all these eliminations, game. right? Mm-hmm. It's the matches. Yeah, I too much battle royal pre-show. Put they pre him up. I love a good battle royale, though. Well, I love watch it. Watch the pre-show. <laughs> like, it showed, right? Like, yeah. And the Maybe you should be booking the events. No. <laughs> I no. No, I'll just give my opinion here. But yeah, you you would make the main event, Damian Priest. Uh, n- no, I'd no? keep Roman up there or whatever. Yeah. Roman Biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I, I don't know, why, I, I was hoping Biggie got beat by Austin uh, Theory on Raw, though. Oh. I was hoping to see the ultimate upset. But then Seth came out, and apparently Seth got beat up by <laughs> Booger McFarlane, or whoever came running down the ramp. Flip Queens. Flip Queens. And, uh, like, Flip Queens. And then, like, who else came out? It was... Uh, Queens Flip. What was Kevin? Kevin Owens couldn't help Seth Rollins. <laughs> I don't know. Like, the old days, they would have thought it was off air. There would have been no kayfabe. Kevin Owens... If it was the old days, would have been stomping that guy in the head too, exactly. and and so would whoever was uh, uh, Damien Priest. All of them would have been beating that poor that poor. G- he would have never jumped another guard around his life. <laughs> That's what I say. You don't got to send him to prison. You just got to beat him up, like teach him a lesson. They did, and then they won't do it no more. If he came in to do harm, you give him harm back. Send him over, and or it's even. Yeah, but but that's the old ways. That's shit's not acceptable now. Like it's, sure. The other <laughs> thing was 
uh, Randy Orton, who says, and and I, I I think it's interesting. He says he doesn't. RK Bro was on the pay per view. RK Bro, yes. Well, yeah, see, they got they got that there. Them. You don't need to battle royal. You got RK Bro on the like. You don't need to battle royal. You got Damian Priest, RK Bro. That's all you need. That, I mean, who could we guess? Who was in this battle royal? Sheamus. People like that. that oh, you to texted me. me. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, I want to hear this battle royal list before we go on the Pandora. I know, I know you got to no, go to the gym. Gonna, I know no, you got to go to the gym. Hold but. on, I was also gonna say. Too far to say. Oh, sorry. Um, I was also. I need gonna to say, watch the shows. Um, what I need to do. But. Randy Orton beat Kane's record for well, most pay per views. Most pay per views. Oh, I just have to on. look at this picture and oh my god, he didn't even give me the names. He's like, here's the picture. Please. I don't even know who that is. He's new. That's Jinder Mahal. Jinder. Um, I love Jinder. Almost but. and AJ. I think AJ's that's, in a battle royal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, because he's got RK it. True. Our, our, true. Yeah, true. Uh, pre show. Pre show. Um, Dolph Ziggler. Oh. Um, 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 no, I already said him. Um, is that Cedric? I don't know who that is. I don't know who. I, I, Let me see. That. Sammy Zayn. Sammy Zayn came out and interrupted the matches. Uh, did I th- did Morrison get let go? Did yes. somebody say he got let yes. go? Well, so there was another uh, amount of let go. Yeah, um, this big, oh, uh, Oda, yeah, def, uh, but, yeah, pre-show, pre-show. No, and nothing against these guys. I'm saying pre-show. I, I'm saying pre-show. And, the Vikings? Yeah, uh, Damien Priest. Uh, yeah, Swift Wap it out. God, I can't, like, okay, look, I'm just going to say. I'm sorry that. if I offend anybody, if you're huge fans of these guys, and I am personally friends with some of those guys, and and, and I have oh, nothing against them, because if I was there, I would say pre-show for me. If not, I would have been in the dark. I would have been like. Dark of darks, you know what I mean. So I'm not like got an ego or nothing. I'm just saying, Damian Priest and that 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 dude that comes out with the rock music, Shinsuke, whatever. Mm-hmm. Boom, that that should have been the, that match should have been on the pay per view, and that battle royal should have been the pre show. Done. And, and the company would have saved a little bit of money because they could have paid him a little bit less on the pre show. Okay. <laughs> not that they probably didn't pay him. They probably paid him the same on the pay per view, anyways. But fair. But, and then they don't have to let people go. If they learn to switch the money around. <laughs> That's a whole nother. Nah, they don't have to let Morrison go. Why would he let Morrison go? Like, know. that dude looked like a god out there, man. I like, love Morrison. Like, 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 he was, like, chiseled, athletic. But Must they be... let his wife go, you know, and then they Who's let... his wife? Talia Valkyrie. Oh. Or so... Frank, Frankie Monet. So, think, yeah. uh, okay. All right, so what are they getting rid of couples? Kevin Cross, Karen Cross, and Scarlett. Seems or... like it. Uh oh, I think you just delved into a new conspiracy. Keith, Keith Lee and his wife, I mean. Keith well, Lee. I, yeah, fiance, right? Yeah, Mia Yim, yeah. All right, future talent, do not date anybody. Alert, alert, public service announcement. Do not Ding. date or get married to anybody Ding. in the company or you'll be let go. Understand this, you'll be let go. This is the Squid Games. <laughs> Oh my God, you, <laughs> you got I another season it. coming. Oh, good for you. you yeah. Like good game. <laughs> yeah. Is it time for the box? We can. What's in the box? Because I know you got to get to the gym. Ooh, Time's the cooking out. Uh, okay. And can you make that? Can you make that turkey sound you made earlier? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Ready? Gobble gobble. <laughs> There's a turkey in, the in here. Bo- is a turkey in the box? Yeah, yeah. A turkey leg. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Put anything past Raymond because I don't wait that. I'm waiting for like things to jump out of the box. Did, did you tell me you was one. going to and you guys are going to surprise me and then you didn't? Not me. I wouldn't do that to anybody because I don't want it done to me. <laughs> like, All right. Okay. This is from Dylan underscore 10. Dylan 10. Did you have to set... Oh, did you have to get prior permission to use weapons during a match or was it a free-for-all? That's a cool question. No, dog. You, yeah, you definitely. Everything's got to be cleared. You gotta get. You gotta get. You gotta get permission to use weapons. Um, and you know, like in our day, we we you could do chair shots at the head. This and this and that. But it. now I'm assuming you got to get permission for any kind of thing like that. But back then, if it was the hardcore thing, back in my era, like like see, we got to separate eras, right? So this new generation now, I, I'm sure you got a hundred percent clear every punch, kick, and blow you do with any type of thing. We, it was a free for all. If you're in a hardcore, you could bring your weapons out. I mean, you couldn't bring a knife or a machete or a chainsaw or you know, like like within reason. But chairs, tables, but you would clear certain spots because you didn't want um, you didn't want the announcers or the cameraman or, or the, guy, the production to to miss it. You didn't want to waste uh, a great thing, so you have to smarten them up anyways and let them know about it. But it was a free for all kind of how we used it and stuff in my era. 
This hair, of course, you gotta get a thousand bit permission. Well, you have to get permission to change your hair color, get a tattoo. I mean, like, there's a lot mm-hmm. of. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm sure you do now. Not back then. Oh, big back time. then you sort of had to clear a haircut and some tattoos too. Back even back when I was there, you sort of had to clear all that because they're investing money on you on TV. Your character, right? You can't just go change a character to push it and all of a sudden come oh. with a mohawk one day. You cut, you know, cut your hair. Off. I remember that happened with Paige, like because she wanted to, like, I forget what the scenario was, but they had just made like a action figure. You can't just make an action figure and then change it. You know, they're buying the current version. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get I get the, the company side of that. I get that. So, uh, this is from Kenny Star 3 Kenny Star 3 what's up? So, hey, Gangrel. Hey, Kenny. Uh, can you tell <laughs> us about your time working with the Harleys? Any road or rib stories? With the Harleys? Which Harleys? Harley Davidson or Hardys? Oh, Hardy's. I Hardy, <laughs> Hardy's, Raymond. Is that your writing? No, it was me. <laughs> you want me to read uh, it? Sorry, no, um, cool road stories. I, I don't have too many cool road stories. Uh, I, I was actually, the only road story I have with the Hardys is uh, I was actually with Edgy Christian as the brood, and we were working Michael Hayes and the Hardys. And I, I think I've talked about it on here in my first podcast all the way back when I was on here by myself without you, when I was just rambling for content, blah, 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 right? So, like, because like, I was nervous and stuff, and it wasn't so relaxed like it is now. Um, Thank you for being here and making it relaxed. Um, My pleasure. Uh, it was it was one where we were in an Outback Steakhouse in P- Pittsburgh, right? And and they reenacted this on, uh, when Michael Hayes was in the Hall of Fame, and they turned it around, and they had Michael Hayes come out on the top of this. But we were in an Outback Steakhouse, Steakhouse, and... Uh, you know, it was supposed to be, you know, we're feuding each other, but they were kind of sitting near tables with each other. There was Edge and Christian, and there was Matt and Jeff, and they're having chicken and steak and healthy shit. And um, <laughs> I'm sitting in the bar with Michael Hayes, drinking Jack Daniels, you know, Jack shots. And they used to always call Michael Hayes the beer wolf because they'd say you have a six pack of a joint and his hair would go up, rah, and he'd be like, rah, 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 my time, my dime. He'd become the beer wolf, you know. So he become, whatever, he'd become the beer wolf. So I was sitting up there at the bar with him and he became the beer wolf, you know. He started rambling on and he was telling the same stories over and over. Like, and you know, I do too. I, I tell the same stories when I'm drinking. So, you know. But I mean, I've heard heard him a lot, and then and then I, and I finished one of his stories. Like, yeah, you know, I'm not smart ass, but kinda, you know. I, I, he's like, "Hey, kid, you know what this means? It's my dime. It means it's my time." You know, you know. I, I, and, and he got mad and he wanted a headbutt, right? So you know, he, he I said, "You said you want a headbutt?" I go, "Sure." <laughs> like, boom, he gave me one. Boom, I gave him one. This is in the outback, you know. Christian Edge and Hardy's are seeing this and like, oh crap, you know. There's another set of headbutts go back and forth. Now the whole place is looking. Hey, <laughs> and he goes, "You want to take this outside?" <laughs> and I go, "Yeah, sure, I want to take it outside." We go out there and. Headbutt a few more exchanges, but then I came back with a rifle. I did a two-two on him. I had a bam, bam, you know, and he dropped to a knee and was bleeding, you know. And, 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 and edgy, edgy Christian, we got you got to go, stop, 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 and kind of laughing. And, and I remember Michael Hayes going names, 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 like time, you know, like it was good. And just I remember all he said was when he got up, he goes, "That boy sure likes the headbutt." You know? He's just like, but that was the old school way. There was no like you could go. That could have been a fist fight, and we would have got up and went and had a beard again together. You know, like, it's so different. Beer wolf. The, the beer wolf, yeah. It's so different today versus even then or even before my time or when I was coming in. You could dust it up and, and be walk back in and go have a beer with each other. Nobody nobody killed each other. Nobody sued each other. Nobody canceled each other, you know. Mm. I mean, I don't know if that was a better way of doing things. I mean, I mean... Nobody shot anybody, you know. Amen. Nobody lost their, their job. Nobody told on each other too much. I mean, there was some people, but I mean, I don't know. It was a different way. Wild West type of stuff. And I was at the tail end of that, but yeah, that's the only really road stories I have there. Crazy. Uh, it was fun times. I like the name Beer Wolf. Fun times. Uh, this one we kind of talked about briefly, but maybe you want to expand on it. This is from Savvy G. Uh do you think Charlotte Flair wants to leave? Ali G, like Ali G show. Ali G, no, Booyaka Sha. <laughs> yeah, I love Ali G. Uh, do you think Charlotte Flair wants to leave WWE for AEW? I I don't know. Well, we just spoke about it. I don't know Charlotte Flair. I can't speak on her behalf. I can only sp- speak upon the rumors I heard, and that's the rumors I heard. But then you've told me. Now she's unfollowed Andretti. And- I mean, like, her dad's no longer there. You know, obviously, like, she's really paved her own way, and I respect Charlotte so much. 
But they um, uh, they go like like the rumor I heard was like oh because it'll be better booking for her to say how much better booking can you get when you've been on top and a champion I don't know. like iconic like like how many times has she been world champion women's world champion more so than anybody right I mean I I I think she's a WWE girl and I think she's tremendous don't get I think she's she tremendous talented tremendous. athlete yeah yeah so I, I guess time yeah. will tell time will right? tell TikTok TikTok. TikTok. Uh, this is from Cruz X. I'm going to pronounce it Oviato. I could be massacring that name, but yes. So it's Cruz X Oviato massacring Oviato. that name. Okay, I could be a... <laughs> yeah. Uh, so All right, Cruz X. Cruz X. Um, we didn't talk about this last week. We meant to, but oops. Uh, Jay Lethal signed with AEW last week. What are your thoughts on him, and have you ever worked him? Now, is he the black macho man? Black machismo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Black, black machismo. Um, no, no, I never worked Jay Lethal. Uh, hellos here and there, in passing. Um, well, I don't know, but I, uh, I think he has a school with Ryan now, right? Ryan. He always had a school. Up now and now Ryan from the Dissension, Ascension. Yeah. Ryan, who's a South Florida guy, but lives in Tampa now with his girl. Uh, and they got a great family. They had a beautiful son, Connor. Uh, Connor. Connor's his name. The big Connor. Yeah, Connor. Connor Ryan. Ryan. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, really, I really don't know that well. The I on love that. Jay Lethal. Uh, he's one of the first people I met. Like, when I got into wrestling, I met him at a Ring of Honor event. Mm-hmm. And he's always been so wonderful. I did talk to him after he got signed. Both yeah. Jude and I messaged him to congratulate him. So Yeah. Uh, and uh, Yeah. You know, it, it just brings up the thought. Uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with Jay Lethal or not. But, uh, like... I notice a lot of people coming from other schools, and even NXT guys coming from NXT. Is there a new fad what? in wrestling? I know, I, I, like, like these guys in the Indies and these are young people. They're like flipping, beating the shit out of each other, and think it's okay, like to to like throw a legit knee or throw a legit kick to the head or throw a legit forearm. Like, what happened to the? Is that a new thing? Is the, 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 it used to be an art? Of intent, you showed you you looked violent. You came across like you're destroying a person, but you 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 were touching them like it was your baby in the crib. You know what I mean? I, like I noticed there's a trend, and a lot of them have been coming through schools from Tampa, different areas. I'm not, Ooh, okay. and they're all like just lighting people up like in they like yeah, I don't like that. Even NXT, like people were, people coming out of NXT are saying that they were working like that there. I don't I don't get that. I don't I'm not I'm, I'm not sure if I'm missing something. I'm wondering if you. Heard anything or you notice anything? I, I guess, like, unless it's a death match, I don't want to see people actually beating the shit out of each I other. I don't even know if they're beating the shit out of each other in death matches because they would die. <laughs> like, with those well, weapons. Like, I, I haven't but, seen but, that, or, but I also okay. haven't paid attention enough. Maybe I'm recently. just curious. I'm going to pay more attention and keep people updated on that. I'm going to investigate this. Yeah, that's not this. cool. I don't like that. No, it's supposed I, to look like you're... Yeah, but, like, I think it's a new... I don't know if they call it strong style now. I, I'm not sure, but I, I've noticed style? more and more people are coming back and, like... Everybody that I'm training works so light, and, and but they they can be aggressive. They're, they're snug in the right places, but if they're coming back and they're not, and if I've worked them, and I'm, I was always considered by like the Al Snows and and everybody to be a really like uh, snug worker, like like <laughs> I would lay it in there. So I work with my students, and they don't think that I'm laying it in there compared to what they're getting out there. That they must be destroying you out there. Mm-hmm. I was curious. Yeah, I don't know. What made me think of that, but because he runs a school, so I'm just thinking like, am I missing something in, in school? I don't think that's what he's teaching them. I mean, no, no, I don't imagine him. No, I couldn't imagine that. But like, but it made me start. It was just something I was just thinking about, and I'm rambling. Maybe it's the amount of coffee and the, uh, <laughs> caffeine in this other spider. Well, it could be the spider venom. And I said, I stole. Oh, look at cup. you. Spin away, many signs. Spider Man coming to your theater new. There's Spider Man something. Non spot. <laughs> so, do, do you think Andrew Garfield and Toby are going to be in the new Spider Man movie? Who's Andrew Garfield? Oh. <laughs> Raymond, that was for you. You don't think that they? You Toby Maguire, I know, right? In the comments, y'all, let us know if you think that they're going to be in the new Spider Man. You said Marvel was your world in DC. Yeah. And that's, that's your... I'm, I'm in it. Man, I knew the Toby dude, though. Yeah, basically. Because we spoke on Spider Man before. Right? He was like a nerdy white dude. But the only Spider Man I liked is when he fought Macho Man. In the... Oh, yeah. I got you for two minutes. Bone, <laughs> bone size. <laughs> All right. Another question oh. we kind of touched on. Oh, wow. These questions are coming fast. Yeah. Should I slow down? No, Am no, I like rapid no, firing no. them? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Go get you to the gym. Okay, this is from <laughs> Alex with three X's underscore man. Triple X Alex underscore man. Yes. 
So once again, kind of something we started to talk about, but what's your opinion? Okay, go go ahead. (laughs) What's your opinion on backstage relationships or wrestlers dating other wrestlers? Well, obviously, clearly, like we've seen a pattern here that if you're dating somebody, you're getting let go. Now, whether these people stood up for the other halves and they were like, nah, bah, or they thought like, well, we can't let go one and have drama from the other. We're just going to let them go. I don't know. It seems like there's a pattern. My personal opinion. No, I was going to say, because I, I feel like we talked about this a little while ago about how, like, when you're with Luna or whatever, you're both working the same promotion. You have the ability to travel together. They put you on events together. So, right? Yeah. That's like the flip side. Well, um, <laughs> flip side, you never get away. You have no privacy. But, um, like, like, yeah, okay. Uh, but you mean, like, like on a personal but, level. But, um, no, I, well, all right. So it took me longer to get a job. With her being there, and then because because she would she was known to act out, you know, she's very you know she was schizophrenic, bipolar, so she had a lot going on. She she would beat people up, so like, and then she would always push for me to get a job. So it took me a longer time to get a job, and then when I got a job with her, it, it was it was hard. It was hard because you had to separate her drama from your your career and, and where you're going with things even though you're a couple and together your lives matter together but at the same time you 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 you're two fish swimming in a pond full of sharks <laughs> trying to survive so do you pair up and get eight with that fish or do you try to swim to a safe area as yourself you know and, and if you have love and feelings for a person you can tend to bond the swim together and you're going to get eaten together by the bigger shark or the bigger fish in the water so i don't know if that made any sense to anybody but it did to me in my head but uh like her stuff with like Sable, Mark Merrill, like they, they when they, I, I've told the story where I got drawn in there, right? Like, and and then catering and all that. Like, I never told that story. Um, no, okay. And, and I've seen Mark Merrill on some stuff, and he, he's very humble how he goes about it, and he's very protective of Luna. He doesn't bury, but this particular day they were not. Uh, you know, we all tend to be nicer later after the facts than than say what was really happened in the heat of the moment of things. So there was one day I was friends with Stephanie and uh Stephanie I know is... Big Man. So oh. I would eat lunch with her a lot, I'd hang out with her a lot. So I was sitting there eating lunch with Stephanie that day. Mark and Sable came in and they sat down next to, to Stephanie and I'm like, what the hell's that about? That's weird. You know, 'cause they just came in and sat down, right? Like like tight, like closer than we are, like close, close. And I looked at her, oh, I'm eating and then the, the catering door flies open. This is in Memphis in oh the pyramid. Boy. The catering door flies open. Here comes Laura. Ah, um, fuck you, Mark Merrill. Say, well, I would never hurt you in the ring. Mark, you may knock me out, but I'm going to dig your eye out and bite a chunk out of your face before you do. You whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> like, and uh, Luna went after him. Like She went to go hit Mark Merrill. And uh, uh, I think it was Shane McMahon grabbed Luna. I think. I'm trying to remember. I think it was Shane that grabbed Luna. Or Papa. No, Shane. Because Godfather Vince was sitting there. And uh, yeah, I think it was Shane and Man that grabbed Luna out, drug Luna out. <laughs> like, I was sitting there with, like, uh, you know, like, like, do I swim with this fish or do I swim my way to safety, right? Now, now you see what I'm talking about, right? So, yeah. so I, I just continue to eat. I'm going to find my safety. <laughs> I'm going to swim from my like, safe area. But oh no, and, and that's not possible because then Mark Merrill, and it was Mark Merrill that said it, he goes, you see what I got to put up with that? And, and I believe it was the C word he used. You know? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it was the C word. And he was saying it there. And he was saying it in 70. So they were trying to prove something. So then, you know, I was like, yeah, oh, swim to the safe place. Swim to the, no, I can't. I swam to the dangerous waters. Oh, so God. I'm like, well, you don't you know, I'm like, I'm like, listen, I said, I said, <laughs> before I put before I said it calm to it. I said, listen, whatever the fuck y'all's problems is, is y'all's problems. Don't come in here and sit down by me when shit's about to go down. And then when it goes down, I'm minding my own business eating my lunch. You're not going to call my wife to see word in front of me. You, that's not happening, man. That's not going to go overlooked. And then he, he piped in on me. Oh, you don't have any respect for me. We were trained by the same guy, Boris Malenko. You think I don't belong here? But I'm like, bro, I didn't even know you were trained by Boris Malenko. I didn't even know that. And I didn't even care. And then I, I kind of got upset. And I said, doesn't matter to me. If you want to wear a fucking dress and let your wife 
you put your wife over ruin your career that's on you you know you know because she tko'd a member in the dress on you know whatever so oh, i am like whatever and he goes he, he made it like i much like the guy's name that rhymes with ill, ill. uh looked aggressive towards me so i said i'm gonna kick your ass now or like hey, you golden gloves motherfucker because like i'm sorry I'm my cousin on here i'm sorry okay. I'm, I'm not because i'm you know, trying not to channel that bad you F and F'er. <laughs> I already said it. Be a beep it. So what you two friendly? Beep, but beep, uh, beep 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 beep. Yeah. Um, you know where I'm going. Right? Beep 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 beep. beep, beep, beep yeah. Uh, all right. So okay. sorry. Um, uh, yeah. So I get mad. You know, he's like, and he's like, whatever. And he was saying some other shit. And I see Stephanie moving down this way. And I got mad. I go, no, let's go now. You know, like, like he's like, I'll, I'll kick your ass. I'm like, no, let's go now. Whatever. And literally. I flipped the catering table up to get to him because it was a long table. So I flipped the table up and I tried to come around to him. And he's sitting in his chair, but he put his hands under the chair. And I said, get up. He says, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to fight you. I go, I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you right now. <laughs> you better you better get up or I'm going to hit you, you know. And uh, I was really mad at this point. Like, and, and, and I was telling somebody the other day, I only get aggressively mad when I'm sick. You could say a lot of shit that I could overlook, but I, I would have probably never went more than... Hey, don't say that. And he would have piped up. I said, Alyssa, you need to shut up. I would have probably been there with that, but because I was sick, not feeling good, right? I remember it was just like really under the weather. I get really, I get mad easier. Like I tend to like boil over. So I wouldn't have probably flipped the table and everything. But I was like, get up, get up, get up. You know, <laughs> much like Flair, he sat there with his hands down under the thing. <laughs> like, so, uh, you know, I go, that's it, man. I'm hitting you, bro. I gave you a chance. And then, and I go to, I draw back and I'm going to hit him with I full intent to hit him. And then draws, Darren draws up, grab me. Draw, no, 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 don't do it. Dra- draws is a big guy. He's a former Denver Bronco. This is before he broke his neck with Dilo. Um, yeah. got paralyzed, unfortunately. And uh, he was a great guy. Draws gra- grabs me. He's dragging me back. <laughs> I look over and I see Vince and I'm like, fuck, you know, and I kind of like flip. I try to, uh, Calm down. I'm like, man, and, and, and I get mad, and I go out side catering, and this is in Memphis. It's a big catering hall, and like, I laugh because all the catering guys, I seen them, and all the pyro guys, they all said the whole room kind of lined up. They were just waiting for it because nobody liked them. They had so much heat, you know. They rubbed everybody the wrong way for whatever reasons, you know. Yeah. And Mark's a nice guy now, you know. He does things. He's, I'm sure he's a nice guy then, but. He swam with his fish. <laughs> yeah, the fact that not only did he say that in front of you, he said it in front of Stephanie. I don't yeah. like that. That's I, I really don't like uh, that. He could have done it outside. Yeah. Like why? Did, why there? But I why there? Because they knew Luna's coming in. So what happened later? Not much later. Like twenty minutes later is like uh, somebody came up and said Vince wants to see you in his office. To mm-hmm. me, like I didn't know where Luna was. No, no, I was mad out there. But I was like kind of like man, I just got pulled into it. Like that's what I was talking about. Fish swimming together, right? Mark was swimming with Sable, right? Whatever. He had, they were swimming. It. Like me, I, I, I had Luna's back and I listened to everything in the car and everything, but I stayed really neutral because I knew some, some things was like, yeah, it's work. And then some things like I couldn't always take her side, but I would try to point it out and like show her two sides of things because sometimes it was irrational. But this one she wasn't wrong on. And um, this one she wasn't wrong on. But then plus they drew me and they left me no option. <laughs> like, you know, I got sucked into that, that, that riptide uh, for say, for better lack of word, better lack of words or whatever, lack of better words. Um, so I'm sitting outside catering and, um, they say Vince wants to see you in the office. Mm-hmm. So I walk into his office. He's not there, but, but, but Mark and Luna and Sabre are sitting in there all quiet. <laughs> like, they're just all quiet. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so I walk in. There's no other seats left, but behind the desk. I literally go in, it's Vince's desk. I go in, I sit down and put my feet on the desk. Well, if I get fired, I'm going out. I'm <laughs> going out the right way. You know, and um, Vince walks in, he looks at me, and I start laughing. And he gives that look he gives. He goes, uh, I, I wish we could all find this humorous. You know, you want to tell me what's going on? I go, yeah, they got me. And I'm laughing. He goes, what do you mean? I said, they got me. They drew me into their BS. I got to listen to it every night in the car. They go at each other. They all, this back and forth, whatever. They finally pull me in. They got me. And I started laughing. He goes, yes, they did. And he goes, but if you hit him, you're fired. Get out of here. <laughs> and he kept them in there for like an hour or something. Some ridiculous amount of time. And they all got fined, I think. I'm not sure. I know Luna got fined. But <laughs> like, yeah. So, yeah, that's my uh, whatever. I don't even know where we started. Relationships and then. Oh, relationships. Yeah. So they can be very, very tough. And they can be very tricky waters to navigate, you know. Um, 
very Pirates of the Cat, Cat Pirates of the Caribbean. Danger, turn back, you know, and like, then flip it. before you go down that waterfall, because it could be a waterfall of, of heartache and tough decisions, you know. Yeah. What a beautiful message. A waterfall <laughs> of tough decisions and heartache. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Bang and bang. Wait, fnggangirl.com. Wait, <laughs> All right. So, that it? Are we good? Are we wrapping this up today? We got to go. We got to get you in the gym. You got to get, get your last workout before Thanksgiving? No, in? I'm no. going to go on Thanksgiving too. Thanksgiving? Ah, well. It's yeah. open. Oh, it's because it's a private. Yeah. Thing. All right, cool. You know what? They're asking me to run to school. Uh, I don't know if I was going to run to school on Thanksgiving. Like, I'm trying to decide whether to even do it Thanksgiving Eve, Wednesday night, or not. I don't know if anybody's going to show up. It's going to be a waste of time. They're all wrestlers. They're probably going to show up. They don't. They don't observe any holidays. You know. Yeah. But on that note, happy holidays. This was episode 26 of Fang and a Bang with Gang Run, Kick a Dad, and we covered things from the. Uh, Royal, uh, was it the Royal Rumble? Uh, <laughs> Survivor <laughs> Series, November Slam, or um, Summer Slam? <laughs> Survivor Series, but and I, and whether Raw, Raw was dominated over SmackDown too yeah. many years in a row. Why the Rock wasn't on there? Run-ins we, with Rollins. Yeah, covered if Seth Rollins was uh whatever. Ray, I'm not even gonna say the word Raymond says because you know that classify like. He, uh, Whatever Raymond believes, Seth Rollins looked like a punk. I'm defending Seth Rollins. I think he got steamrolled by Booker McFarlane. 300 pounds running at you is a lot of weight to stop. So uh, salt, salt, salty. Pepper. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> like, turkeys. Uh, turkeys. Uh, Ra- Raymond's any? Raymond's uh, lack of awareness Can to I the cultural request world. Request a Hanukkah one for next week, please. Yeah. Okay. He you know, says the colors are like blue and white. Right? Can't wait to see like, it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah uh, maybe one of us will show up with a menorah. We and, will. Uh, just uh, don't let me forget. We'll have a menorah. And, uh, we'll spin and, some uh, dreidels. And, and, and I'm going to have to request a Christmas tree just to counteract all that. Oh, we, we, need, a, we need a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a reef. A reef. A reef. But Hanukkah's next week. That's a why. A reef. reef. <laughs> yeah, we're going to spin some dreidels, eat some gout. We'll play, we'll play the dreidel again. Okay, she's going to educate me on all this stuff. And Susie's going to be very happy when I come home that I'll know a little bit more about her, yeah. her culture and her religion. So, uh, thank you. And until the next episode, want some? Get some. Bad enough? Take some. This is Fang and a Bang on Gang Ground Kick the Fit. See you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, gobble, gobble, gobble. 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 Gobble, gobble, gobble.